My brothers and sisters, when we look at the verses of the Quran and the authentic narrations in connection with the month of Muharram and the day of Ashura, one thing that we find which is very clear that the month of Muharram is a month of happiness. The day of Ashura is a day of joy because of the virtues that Allah has given them. Because it is an opportunity for the believer to have his sins forgiven, the minor ones, and an opportunity to draw closer to his Lord and increase in his faith. Having said that, I have to address a huge misconception and misunderstanding regarding the month of Muharram and the day of Ashura. Because people have turned a month of blessings and a month of virtue into a month of sorrow, into a month of sadness, into a month of mourning. And the reason for this is because of an event that took place in the past, a great tragedy, when the grandson of the Prophet ﷺ, through his only surviving daughter Fatima, he was killed and he was slain on the 10th day, the day of Ashura in the month of Muharram. And as Muslims, how can we not be upset at this event, at this tragedy? But there are people who have gone to extremes in their love for Hussein, And they changed the whole concept of the month of Muharram. They took it as a month of sadness. And every year, they make it an anniversary to mourn the death of Hussein. So they introduced new practice into the religion, which was not legislated by Allah, nor his messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And this is the danger of religious innovation. Because if it is not stopped, if it is not cut off at its root, it will evolve, it will grow into what you see today. People have gone to the extremes when they take knives and blades and they cut themselves with it. They mutilate themselves with it. There are people who do not marry in the month of Muharram. There are people who do not wear nice clothes in the month of Muharram. There are people who do not comb their hair in this month. All of these things, my brothers and sisters, wallahi, has nothing to do with Islam. For Allah and His Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam are free from these evil practices. My brothers and sisters, if we look at it from another angle, Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, in his lifetime, he lost loved ones. He lost his wife Khadija. He lost his daughters and his sons. His only surviving child was Fatima. He lost companions, close ones. Companions were mutilated like Hamza on the battlefield. But the Prophet ﷺ never ever turned the month in which they died into a month of sadness. Nor did he celebrate the death anniversary every year. Many companions were killed and slain who were greater than Hussein radiallahu an, such as his father Ali. Ali radiallahu an was the cousin and the son of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He was killed. But did the companions who had the best understanding of the religion take his death as a yearly anniversary? Did they change the month into a month of sadness. Better than Ali was Uthman, who the Khawarij slit his throat. Did the companions take the death of Uthman as a yearly anniversary and change the month into a month of sadness? No. Why? Because they followed the Sunnah. Greater than Uthman was Umar. Umar was stabbed while leading the Muslims in Salah. Did the companions who had the best understanding of the religion, did they take his death as a yearly anniversary and change the month into a month of sadness? No. The first evidence is the Prophet ﷺ. When he ﷺ died, it is the greatest tragedy for the Ummah because the Rasul is no longer with the Ummah. Did the companions, did Aisha and the rest of the wives, 
did Abu Bakr and the rest of the companions change the month in which he died, the month of Rabi al Awwal, into a month of sadness? No, they didn't. My brothers and sisters, Muharram is a virtuous month and not a cursed one. It is an opportunity for the believer to increase in his Iman and to have his sins forgiven, to draw closer to his Lord the Most High. And with that I end, Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik, ashadu wa la ilaha illa ant, astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaykum.